goodness sakes. I mean, what are you doing, guys? Look, my hair won't go the way I want it to go. Look, look, it's bumping up right there. It's annoying the hell out of me. I've got a job interview today, that's why I'm wearing a shirt, tie, and no pants. I'm a vlogger, you're not meant to wear pants when you vlog. <laughs> so I'm trying to get ready. This shirt, shirt is my only one, it doesn't fit me. The pants I'm about to wear do not fit me. That's how much weight I've put on in the past year. Which is pretty good actually, because... I used to be really skinny, but it's not the point. I can't fit into these clothes, and if I've got to do work and I've got no money to actually buy my own gear, should I say gear? Pants. And a shirt. <clears throat> and my hair, seriously. Should I get a haircut? I might put it on Facebook right now. Ask if I should get a haircut. Take a picture of my hair and be like, yo, do you think I need a haircut? So I'm going to get myself ready and I'll vlog while I'm walking there. I'm pretty nervous. I am really nervous. It feels like I've broke my neck. So I can't, I can't move my head while these headphones are on. But let me try it right there. Oh, I've got a bit loose now. But yeah, I don't, I'll just wipe this out. Oh, shy, Zaminelli. It's icy, Nick. It is icy. It's icy. But yeah, I just wanted to say quickly, before I actually go and mess up, because I get really nervous when it gets to like job interviews and stuff. But I know that I'll do good. Because as soon as I finish the job interview, I'll be like, oh yeah, I did good. She was smiling a lot, she was giggling a lot. But I don't know, I just got really bad like, low self esteem. So I actually don't know, like. So, um, where do you want to come work for us for? Um, what good qualities have you got? Um, um, oh, mummy! Don't mean. But I, um, I can actually say now that this is the first time I've ever been this nervous about going to Tesco. I'm pro uh, it's proper, like, I don't know. I got butterflies because I don't want to mess up because I know with this job, like, work experiencing, hopefully it might actually get into a, um, what's the word? An actual full time job. Which is what I'm looking for, I'm looking to work there. And I keep applying this, that'll be pretty good as well. The awkward moment when you think someone stood right behind you, and there's not. So I'm just going to go and I've got to be there soon. I'm at like 20 minutes early. But you know what I do usually, I got like, a job interview I got at Lights in Africa. I don't know if you can remember. Nick, roll the clip. Don't you just hate it when you uh, set a time for you to get to a place and you get there just at enough time and you get here 45 minutes early. Yeah, that's, I'm here 45 minutes early, but that's where I'm at. So I'm being told anyway. So I might lay around here for another 15 minutes and then I'll go in. See, I got there 45 minutes early and that's the job I got. So coming early to job interviews is a pretty good idea. Oh, my hair's a mess. So I'm going to get going, guys. Wish me luck. Look at this, guys. Like. Like all the ch like parent and child slots and the disabled slots are all like out of order because of the because of the ice. Finish my interview. And as I said, I, I'm not nervous now. Like I went in, saw the person before me. I saw you yeah, giving me the eye. Like this is my job, biatch. I'm not bothered about that. Yeah, it was just pretty straightforward. Shit puddle. We well, don't want to get into that. Last time I stepped in the puddle. Like my whole shoe was all wet, and my oh, what happened? What did I? I think I got a cut, and he went to the cut, and I was like, oh, pfft. but any hoozles. This is look at this. This is pure ice. Pure ice. I'm gonna let this woman stand there. But yeah, she basically asked me all these questions, and she seemed pretty impressed when I said I um, vlogged. So if you're watching this, thanks for a great interview. So yeah, I impressed her. She actually thought my IT skills were pretty good, and. The job centre, yet again, did what they did to my last interview and didn't give her any details of me whatsoever. So I had to sit there and write everything what the job centre should have gave her. So that's another thing why I said the job centre of pretty crap. And that bloke was trying to beat me just so he could be funny. Uh, it's not really funny. But anyways, I'm going home, I'm tired, and I'll speak to you in a bit. I just got really confused. Because like a second ago, I just finished recording, I just turned my camera off. And the next thing, I'm nearly home. Like, I was daydreaming, I was like thinking, like, oh, what sort of do for the intro for the video today? Because I was trying to make it so the intros are funny each day before the actual Nick Ashley Daily thing. And then I was like, how the hell did I get here? So I was daydreaming, so I wasn't even conscious. So if someone came up to me and started trying to talk to me, I wouldn't have, like, noticed. So that just means, like, one thing, like, does my mind work even when it doesn't? Like, as I said, I was daydreaming and knew which way I wanted to go home. Freaker stuff! 
So as you can tell, probably the last segment didn't even make sense either. Just because when I see people walking towards me or staring at me when I'm recording, I'm like, um, yeah, um, 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 I not make sense. So if that last segment didn't make sense, you'll know why. I'm textbook Dave Brakes, and if you like this video, thumbs up. In a not, go screw yourself. In a bizzle, mizzle, jizz.